In today's video, we are going to talk about 20 Linux command line tips and tricks for speed and efficiency. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Sudo well, as you know that in most of the tasks that we perform from our terminal, we have to give it administrative privileges, which means you have to write sudo in front of every command. But if you write here sudo space hyphen i and hit enter, now every command that you write in your terminal will be run as administrator. And you do not need to write sudo with every command. As you can see, now we are root and we can simply write any command. For example, if I write here, apt update, hit enter, it will start the process without the need of writing sudo with this command. I will get out of this if I exit from here. And now as we are out of root, now we need to use sudo whenever it is needed. So this is how you can get rid of writing root with every command. Number two, kill command. Well, let's say you have some process that is running in your Linux distribution and because of that, you cannot perform any other thing. For that purpose, we have a command as kill. Just write here kill hyphen nine. And after that, write the name of the ID of the process that have been stopped or that is preventing your system to run. After that, just hit enter and you are good to go. For example, here I have written apt install vlc. If I hit enter now, here it says waiting for cache lock could not get lock of this process and this is the ID. Now I'll show you that how you can kill that. Just write here sudo because this command need administrative privileges sudo kill space hyphen nine and then write the ID. In my case, the ID is 3882, hit enter, and now the process or the ID have been killed. And I can write here sudo apt install vlc, or even if you write apt install vlc, it will work. As you can see, it has started the process. That's it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. Number three, top. Well, top is a command, or you can say it is a command for a utility that comes by default in Linux distribution. Almost every Linux distribution have this. Just hit enter after writing top and it will open a window like this. Here we have the information about the processes that are running, users of those processes, and then the resources that are being used by each process. And not only that, we also have the memory information and swappiness value, or you can say swap memory information. This is a very good command. Number four, PWD. Well, if you do not know that what is your present working directory is, you can find it out by using pwd command. Just write here pwd, hit enter, and here it is showing us that slash home slash zubair is the current working directory. ls command. Well, ls stands for list out. It means with the help of this command, you can list out the content of your current working directory. As I'm into my home directory, as I showed it to you, with the pwd command, now I can list out the content of this particular directory. So I'll write here ls hit enter. So these are different directories that are available to me. So this is how you can find out all the particular directories or all the content of your particular directory. Number six, cd command. Well, with the help of cd command, you can go to any directory from your terminal. For example, let's say as I'm into my home directory, I want to go to my downloads directory, which is this one. For that purpose, I'll write here cd space downloads and hit enter. And now, as you can see, now I'm into my downloads directory. Well, what if I want to go backwards or you can say I want to go back to my home directory for that just write here cd and hit enter. It will take you back to your home directory. Now I'll go to my desktop directory and after that I'll hit enter. Okay, I have written the wrong spellings. I'll write here desktop, hit enter. And now I'll create one more folder onto my desktop. 
I'll name it anything. And now I'll go to my one, two, three folder. For that purpose, I'll write here CD one, two, three. And now I'm into my one, two, three folder. Now what if I want to go one directory back, not the all the way back. So for that, I'll write here CD space dot dot hit enter. And here you can see I'm into my desktop directory. Let's go back to one, two, three. And if I write here CD and hit enter, it will take me back to my home directory all the way back. Number seven, sort processes by memory or CPU usage. Well, in Linux, we can list out all the current processes and we can sort them by how much memory each process consuming with the help of aux command. This command can be helpful in such situation where your system seems to be running on more memory than it used to do. With the help of aux command, without any additional options, it will only list the current processes running on your system. So I'll just write here PSAUX hit enter. So these are the processes that are running at this particular moment. For example, some of these processes are running by root. Some of these are running by Zupair and these are the process IDs. And here we have the list of every command that we have used till now. As you can see, we have PS aux, then we have top, VLC, etc. I'll clear my terminal. Number eight, auto complete your command. Well, as I had shown you that how you can go to different directories, there is shorter way to do this. And that is if I just write here CD and you know that for downloads, we have to write its spelling. But if I write here CD space D O W and if I hit tab, it will take me to my downloads directory because with the help of tab, it completes rest of the command. Let me clear this one. If I write here D E S and if I hit tab now, it means desktop and you will get to your desktop. But we also have DO that also gets used for documents and downloads. For that purpose, you have to write the initials of any directory. So if I write here DOC, now if I hit tab, it will take me to documents just like this one. So this is how you can autocomplete your commands and it not only work for your directories, it works on any command that you want to use in your Linux distributions. Number nine, run multiple commands in one line. Well, if I write here sudo apt update and if I hit enter, what it will do, it will update my system and after the update, I will write here upgrade. Well, what if I can write both of command in one line? So for that purpose, I'll write here update space and sign space upgrade and now hit enter it will update my system first and then it will upgrade it number 10 use arrow keys to retype commands well let's say i want to use one of the previous command that i have used till now for that purpose just press your arrow key and it will take you back to your command this was the last command if i press arrow key one more time it will take me one more command back just like this one if you keep pressing your arrow key upward, it will keep taking you back to your previous commands. And if you press your downward arrow key, it will take forward to your commands. So this is how you can reuse your commands that you have used till now in your terminal. Number 11, record your command line session. Well, for that purpose, first of all, I'll go to my desktop. After that, here I'll write script space name of the file in which I want to record whole session, hit enter. Here you can see I have a new file with the name of file three. Now, anything that I'll do into my command line or my terminal that will get recorded into this particular file. And after that, I can find out or you can say I can look out to that particular file. I'll write here top. I'll get out of this. I'll write here edge top. I'll get out of this. I'll write here kill space hyphen hyphen help. I will get out of this. I'll clear my terminal. And now if I open this file, right click on it, click on open with another application and I'll open it with my text editor. So here we have everything that we have done till now. You can do the same. Number 12, empty file without deleting it. Well, let's say I have some content in my file. Let me open this file. What I'll do now, I'll enter some random data into this particular file. Well, in case if you want to delete this content, either you have to do it manually or let's say you want to do it from your 
command line or terminal. For that purpose, simply write here, right hand side arrow, write the name of the file. My file is file one and just hit enter. But make sure you are in the same directory where you have the file. Now if I open my file one, here I do not have anything and everything has been deleted without deleting this file. How cool is that? Number 13. Unfreeze your Linux terminal. Well, if you are a Windows operating system user previously, you will probably have a habit of using Ctrl S for saving. But let's say accidentally you press Ctrl S in your terminal in your Linux distribution. That will force your Linux terminal to freeze and you will not be able to do anything. If I press any key now, I cannot do anything. Well, to get out of this, just press Ctrl plus Q key and you can see we are out of it. This is how you can get the rid of your frozen terminal in your Linux distribution with one simple command or key. Number 14, move to the beginning or end of line. Let's say I have written here sudo apt update or let's say you have written some other command in here. Well, what if I want to get to the start of this line? For that purpose, either you have to use arrow key, but that takes time. We have a shortcut for that as well, and that is just press Ctrl A, and it will take you to the start of your command. Now let's say I want to get to the end of this command. Either you can go to your end of line with the help of arrow key, or you can press Ctrl E. It will take you to the end of your command. How cool is that? Number 15, delete entire line. Well, let's say again, I'll use here sudo command or let's use any other command. For example, this is the command which is script file three. I want to delete this file. So for that purpose, either I have to keep pressing my backspace key in order to delete this command, or we have a shortcut key as well, and that is control U. It will delete the complete command from your terminal, just like this one. Let's say I want to delete my command from a particular position. Let's say I want to delete it from CD onward. For that, just press Ctrl K after placing your cursor. It will delete everything that is ahead of your cursor. How cool is that? Number 16, search content in a file. Well, this is my file with the name file2. Here I have written skills build. And here I want to search for skill, or let's say I want to search for a particular thing. So for that, I'll write here, grab space, skills space name of the file, which is file2. If I hit enter, it will show me where I have skills available into this particular file. Even if it was on 200 lines, it would have shown me all those lines where I have skills available. How cool is that? Number 17, help command. Well, every command in Linux distribution comes with its help. In case if you do not know what this particular command is, you can always go to its help section. Let's say I write here kill space hyphen hyphen help. If I hit enter now, it will open the help of this particular command. Means why it gets used, what is the purpose and how we can use it. You can do that for any command. If I write here apt space hyphen hyphen help, here we have everything that is related to apt command. Number 18, use less to read files. For example, let's say I want to open my file and I want to read it, but I want to do it from my terminal. For that, write here less space name of the file. I'll write here file2, hit enter. And this is the file and every content of the file here it is as well. And after that, we have end of file. Number 19, copy paste in Linux terminal. Well, copy paste in Linux terminal is relatively very simple. Just write here sudo apt update and in case if you want to copy that one, just select the content, right click on it, click on copy and you can paste it anywhere into your system. Just like this one. Other than that, you can also do that from your UI as well. Here we have added from here you can click on copy and in case if you want to paste it, go back to your edit and click on paste and it will work just fine. Number 20 kill a running command or process. Let's say I write here apt install space vlc and hit enter. What I want to do, I want to stop this process. To stop this process, I have a command, press Ctrl C and it will stop this particular process. 
And if control C doesn't work, press control Z. It will also kill the running command all the running process. We are done with the 20 shortcuts or keys. Now I'll show you one bonus and that is ifconfig. Well, ifconfig gets used to configure kernel resident network interface. It gets used at the boot time to set up your interfaces. After that, we only use it or we only need it when we are debugging or when system tuning is needed. Well, I'll just write here if config hit enter. Here I have all the information. Let's say I want to check the information of all the network interfaces. Write the same command, give it a space right here hyphen A. And here I'll have every information about the all network interfaces. And that brings me to the end of this video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.